for the scorecard. <coughs> Hello guys and welcome back to some more Metro Exodus. We are still here with Anna just looking at us and looking out the window. So you have a great time now, Anna, okay? What do you know? Everything oh, is hello. perfect, Artyom. Follow us. What do you mean everything is perfect? What is going on? Well, if that dance is not awesome, <laughs> oh, this seems to be having fun. Oh, look, this is the thingy we put on. Oh, that's cool. So every single area we bring something new with us through the train. Is that what's happening? So cool. What is over here then? Just a new area and a little bit of a diary. Alright, Crest, I'm writing you a note because I really wouldn't want anyone to overhear. It would be a dead giveaway if I wanted to do it now. I know you have a sharp eye, so perhaps you could help me get the size right without measuring. What? I see you preparing a wedding surprise for Katya and Stepan. Alright, let's go. No, it's pretty, pretty good mood in here right now. Oh, Sipson's right nearby. Oh my goodness, easy, easy. I can't hear anything. Oh my god, I'm deaf. Now deaf. Thank you. What did I miss? You should have seen them dance. Look at the I don't know what a few things, maybe? A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Don't look at me like that. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. Ooh, interesting. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everybody! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Stepan. Alright, that's how you pronounce oh, his name. Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day for worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. That's very sweet. Wait, is this the marriage? As the captain of the ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Ship? This is a train. Be happy. Oh, and... Gorka! 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 What is Gorka? Oh! Blood. You don't seem so Anna, great, huh? What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that cough? Got it's just smoking, I bet please. you. This can't be good. Damn. I'm 
sorry I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamandao, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't How have long. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Yeah, I don't think that's the reason. Well, you should have said it sooner. Now you're definitely gonna die. And I, you know, I don't blame anyone but you. I'm alright, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. Um, congrats on the this. wedding? The old man is furious. <laughs> oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. It, what? what? It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes, this is getting old. As soon as something happens, it's always Artyom's fault, even when he had nothing to do with it. That's just his fate. fate. Guys, I'm right here. Get out of here! Yes, in any case, Katya will calm the Colonel down. You shouldn't worry either, Anna. She'll fix you in no time at all. She's good. No doubt about that. Make yeah. Sure the lucky ticket with her, especially you, Stepan. That's a fact. Thank you, Anna. You I don't know about all of this. Is a strict one. Don't worry, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I just hope he doesn't beat me. He's gonna blame so, me for doing her hard in bed son, or something? No? Tell me what Colonel, do do now? Oh boy. Let us not panic and think constructively. Let me just so, back down Katya, the stairs. What do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for yes, lungs. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also... We're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Yes. Uh, a wedding happened. Oh my god. The you guys are so negative. Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Wait, you're telling me there's a, something that can fix collapsed lungs? Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want okay. no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Before? Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Yeah, that's sad, but there was a wedding that just finished. Yeah? Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. Yeah, if Anna's health... Dad, please... I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. 
Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. Oh, what party? It was I a just wedding. I broke myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that. No, I still exactly don't that think it's that. Now. It was before that she All started right, coughing too. To you guys. Oh, for goodness just sake. Wait, wait. Can together. I... Can I also do a toast? Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, toast. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay, now I just Stay feel on. rude. Will you play that song? About us. Easy as pie. Why does the kid look so annoyed? Because <laughs> she's like, oh, that's not my real dad. <laughs> Why are you staring at me, Duke? What? Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им: "Пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет. Нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой." Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешали с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и да мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас сражали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхе, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. This is definitely about us. All right, very cool, very cool. But you know, it says the train is on fire, and we don't want that. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Our team needs a volunteer to support him. Yep, it's me again. Hey, Surprise. It's me. I'll check the hell out of that valley, please. <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers <laughs> or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're That's not true. the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with a brother. That sounds boring. Ah, cut it <laughs> out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. 
<laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. He has gray hair. You said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart curl like you. Dad. Don't dad me. A 20 year old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual wielding pistols. Oh, wow. <laughs> I get I don't know who thinks it's weird. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I oh, no. Not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. Oh, wait, what? But how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. And not to dying children. from gas. <clears throat> and one Ugh. more toast to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. Yeah, may it grow and prosper. Another one. <laughs> Are we gonna get drunk now? Is <sighs> having more women join it? <laughs> Alyosha, oh wow! I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful. There will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love. All right, to love too, I guess. Smooth as silk. The sun is saving a great today. It's I was dead. They just went through the floor. Come on, impress us. With what? Um, I can dance. I must say. My turn for what? I don't understand. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll impress you with, um, oh wait, do you want me to squeeze through there? Well, well, uh, okay, I'll do something. No, I won't do something. Um, I'll just squeeze back here, you know? Oh, you want me to play the guitar? I see. Can I? No, come on. Sit with me, Artyom. Oh, here we go. All right. Hold hands. Is that what I can do? Nope, that was not holding hands. Just giving a hug. But it's okay. I can play the guitar too. I guess this is to you, Anna, since you're 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 closing your eyes way too much. This is for all of you, and uh, and Anna. Okay. This song represents my situation right now and my emotions. Help, I'm in distress. I need medicine. 
Anna is sick. We are moving on. The train rail forward to a new destination. We don't know where. We don't know how. All I know is we'll find a way somehow. We all believe. And then we will be together and be happy. All of us. Filled with joy. Start families. Rebuild. I don't know what else to say other than... Let's all chill and have a great time. When we get to our new destination, that is. Oh, I am the main character, you know. Just so you know, that's also very important. I call this, I call this song Hope, alright? That's the name of this song. Now if you could let out a tear and show your appreciation of my song that's supposed to be very emotional, then that would be great. Great, that's a beautiful song. Stepan, play some thank more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stepan, could you give us that one? By Borisic. My pleasure. Borisic? What now? Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им: "Пойдем домой. Мы ведем okay. войну уже 70 лет. Нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным". Hello there again. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, Mark. Oh, can I do this? Ooh. That's fun. One more time, please. One more time. All right, I'm happy now. <laughs> oh no, I hear coughing. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay, that's great and all, but uh, how are you guys doing? Hello, Artyom. Hello. Hello, my friend. As you can see, we're busy with giving the weapons some proper care after the desert. Oh, that makes yeah, sense. I hate sand, I must say. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Irritates me to no end. <laughs> oh, I see so you did there. So that that that's home, a Star Wars quote. And Duke, being the kind of guy that he is, volunteered to help. Yeah, volunteered my ass. You're a slave driver, like that Baron. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have taken that shambler for a dive in the sand. It's not a kalash. I didn't even shoot it afterwards. Thank God. I don't know if it even will shoot, though. So you, young man, got lucky there. Yes, it is a mystery, really, how those bandits managed to keep their guns working in that desert. Though yeah, I'm sure they don't good, go around the sand all the time. Definitely custom made. A fine job. And it's been well maintained, too. This just warms my heart. What gun? Well, I wouldn't have a poor showing here either, given a chance. The Tihar with the new ammo would have worked wonders there. I'm sure you'll give it a try later, though. Well, yes. You could have barbecued them all. Sounds about yes, right. In any case, you don't need to worry about their weapons, Artyom. I'll have them in mint condition by the time we make our next stop. Ha ha ha! Good this job, buddy. Is something else. One more go, I guess. You guys good over here now? This plays more music? Okay. 
I guess I have to go all the way in the back to find Eliosha, unless he's over there still. One more go, I guess. One more go. Not this way, the other way. Oh yeah, maybe I just need to go up uh, to the to front area. Hello there, buddy. Well, Bratuha, Anna sure gave us all this care. Oh, but don't you worry. It does look like tuberculosis, but Katya is a real medic. She, no, she'll put her back on the feet in no time at all. I don't know about that, but all Besides, right. Besides, there's finally something nice ahead: a river, a forest, even a hydroelectric dam. <laughs> that sounds interesting. <laughs> I haven't fixed one yet. A so forest? Worry, I, that's actually everything not good. Will be fine. Soon we'll have a chance at normal lives at that valley, you know? Are you and Anna gonna have kids, Artyom? It's about oh boy. Time, Moscow doesn't sound right for those with radiation and all, but the valley... Oh, that's the place. And Stepan and Katya would follow suit too, since they're married. <laughs> Are you implying that all married people... Oh. Colony, you know? We'll build a good one too, with some skilled people, and most importantly, smart people. And will surely attract more. And if some assholes decide to crash the party, ho, 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 we'll send them packing in no time with our guys. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. That's of true. That valley oh, needs okay. Checking out first. The colonel is absolutely right. But you and Alyosha, you can handle that. No problem. Yes, indeed, we can. Boy, that cursed mountain. Oh. I had this nasty feeling back then. I even told the colonel why. He was so eager to see that minister of his, he didn't care. Not quite like him, huh? But that's to be expected, you know? Everyone has a string which, when pulled, makes you forget about everything else. Tissi got shot like a dog and serves him right. Remember how we rushed to fight the Baron? That one was a real bastard, of course. Treating people like that over nothing, yeah, just as bad as the Astrakhan gang. At he got shot like a dog and serves him right. True, It'd be nice yeah, to wipe yeah. out all of his lieutenants, huh? You know what, I'm sure Gyul will handle them just fine. Oh, she's not a girl who'd leave a job half done, huh? <laughs> So what I'm saying is, we weren't roasting in that oven for nothing, huh? We also helped people, besides getting those maps. Yeah, that is true, that is true. Oh, well, okay. finish with your trophy here. Go prepare the rail car for a recon trip with Alyosha. Speaking of him, I think he wanted okay, to what is it now? so badly because he also had a feeling, you know, in his usual direction. <laughs> Look after the Tletcher before he finds his, uh, you know, head stuck somewhere nasty, will you? I, I will, I will, I will. Still, I have to give okay, never mind, pay again. Bringing this beauty here was a stroke of genius. I feel she's going to help us a lot. That's good, that's good. Mind you, I'm not trading my rail card for anything in the world, but this baby here is just amazing. Never mind the looks, her engine has been finely tuned and maintained. She's got a strengthened frame and springs, even her brakes are in perfect order. The mechanic skill and passion are as plain as day here, and I love that. I really, this thing reminds me of my old bay. The one I once drove out of Kadui. A ton and a half truck from that war had been rusting in a scrapyard for 40 years at least. Ran on firewood like the Aurora. Of course it was more memory than a truck. The cabin was all rotten, plywood don't keep that well. Platform was missing altogether, but the engine with the gearbox and the gas generator was still there. The frame was okay. Yeah, sounds kind of awful though. Of work. A month without taking a break, but in the end it ran. Then I put the body of the same minibus you have here on the top of the frame. And driving that Franken bus, I went as far as Astrakhan. Mind you, that thing didn't have more than 30 HP on its birthday. Terrible hassle too. You not just have to chop firewood, you have to make the sticks even 
and nice or else it doesn't run well. It takes a lot of experience, like heating up a proper sauna, you know? So I'd spend half a day getting ready, a couple of hours driving. Yeah. Fell in love with that thing. Oi, mamachka. No wonder after all that effort. Still, I had to give it to one bastard in Astrakhan. Otherwise, I would have just been killed right there, and that's if I got lucky, huh? So that's how it went back then. As for this beauty, I'll take good care of her. For all time's sake, she'll be winning every car show we run across, huh? Ain't she a beauty? Oh, ты красавица моя, like a bride on her wedding day. Perfect. Yeah, very so, perfect. There you have it, Bratucha. There you have it. Good, you're finally done talking. That was such a long talk, dude. My goodness. Oh well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, a lot of talking and a lot of celebrating and sad news. A little bit of ups and downs, a few of those. It's always very interesting. Yeah, like I mentioned, hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.